Hello. This video, as promised, I said that I would use the scalloped ruler that we made and I did trace it and traced it right here and then I cut it out, a strip, and it is a little big for the card, but that's okay. I like it like that because that way I can go ahead and measure because I like to either line up the two bumps if I can, the two V's, which I can't, but I can certainly line up the two bumps. So all I have to do is go like this and I can mark this on the other side with my pencil for where I need to cut and glue it. All right, so I've got that done. So now I can just cut this. There, all right. So now, move that out of the way. So I'm thinking of putting this on here, which will go. And I pulled this out, and I don't remember where I got this. It may have, it was probably from packaging. I'm assuming it was from packaging, because there's something stuck on the back here, like it was packaging, or a box or something. And there is a little scratch on it, so a mark on it, but I can easily cover that up. So I think that's the first thing I'm gonna do, is I wanna put these together. But I'm wondering if I should go around it with maybe sponge around. I think that might be a good idea, but it depends on what color, because I, I am looking at these flowers thinking I could put this on, and I did pull this out, although that's gonna kind of blend way in, unless I did, if I chose brown, then that would all match, and then I could do a yellow tulip on there, that would be pretty. Um, but I also pulled out these thinking perhaps I could do one of these black flowers here, these rosettes that I made. That's pretty. I do like that. Uh-huh. So seeing that, I wonder if I would like that one better. Hmm. That's pretty too. What do you think of that? Isn't that pretty? I don't know, do I like that one better or do I like the lighter one better? I think I like the darker one better. Yep, all right. Oh, that's funny. Oh, this is one of those furry ones, and I put it on with, with some glue and it came off. All right, so I'm gonna have to use some double stick tape that will work. There, that's better. All right, nice, very good. Now we can get these and put those in the garbage. All right, now I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that, but I think I might need, I'm gonna need some black trim. I don't wanna just go all around with all black because that would just look just too stark for me. Um, but I am thinking perhaps uh, a piece of black paper see and what I could do I could go around the outer edge if I did just on the back side of this that would work just that light trim going around here I think that'll make a nice difference yeah because it just gives it a hint of color but without being too obnoxious if you know what I mean there 
Yes, that's perfect, okay. And now I'm thinking, I wanna go around here. Because this is all white on the edges too. I was thinking today about when I used to work at the jail and I, I taught a decision-making skills class. And uh, it was a choice if they wanted to, wanted to take it. It was all, all women's prison and it was their choice if they wanted to. And if they took it, they, got a, they did get a voucher at the end saying that they completed this decision-making skills. It was the, through the Thresholds program. And the program was actually made by an inmate that was in this exact jail system. And all the classes that she took and the schooling that she took, she learned what would be helpful. And she was right on because the course was just amazing. Absolutely amazing. It helped so many people. And there were some people that would, they would take it and uh, they would take it again if they could, depending on how long they were in for. And it was interesting because it used to, we used to do different things like practicing making decisions. So we would have a lesson and we would play different games and different role role-playing games and even did um, some newspaper articles with them about where they saw themselves in five years and ten years and it was really interesting to see where they thought they would be. This is looking crappy. I don't like the way this is looking. I'm kind of regretting doing this one. I might have to do another one. Either that or I might have to do it thicker. Oh my. All right, let me look at this. Oh, I guess it's all right. I'm not loving it though. Although it does match much better to have that black on there. All right, I'm thinking I might have to do something. Let's see, where's the other paper? This one here. Okay, I can use this one. I'm thinking I might just go ahead and just do it this way. That looks better, okay. All righty, I do like that better. It's so dark. <laughs> but that's okay, with that light black trim going around here and going around here, it does look better. And then with this, that'll look good, okay. All righty, very good. So let's go ahead and glue this together. And I can save this. sticky so I need to fix it Oof. <laughs> puff, puff, puff. yes there's powder in there oh my goodness all righty I poofed myself poof 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 there well this is a really thick plastic bag I'm surprised usually they're a lot thinner hmm all righty so let's go ahead and glue this down.
one on there. I'm thinking of 3D in this one up a wee bit. I think that would be a good idea. I love the the people that we used to teach together over at the job and it was it was so nice and we taught together for years over there oh my goodness for such a long time and it was so nice to be able to see the people that went through the program and I really honestly don't remember anybody who went through the program that didn't learn to enjoy it at first some of them definitely had attitudes but and they just came to the class because it was a night out. It was something to do. But then once they realized what we were doing and, and we were actually helping them to make just better decisions for themselves, then things changed. And that was so, so exciting to see that we were able to do something like that. Don't want this to tilt forward too much here. Alrighty. So let's get some glue on here. And it's been nice because to see some of the inmates come out, get out of jail, and, and uh, some of them stayed out. Some of them did go back, which was sad, but it, they were very truthful about it. It was a lot easier to, to stay. Um, away from the drugs and stuff when they were there, when they were in the prison, because it was more controlled and more rigid with, with rules, which is really sad. So they would, a couple of them even purposely did things that got them put right back in, in prison because they knew they wouldn't be able to make it on the outside, which was really sad. All right, so this goes here. I wish there was something else that that we could do for the inmates because the majority of them were in for for drugs so which was really sad yep alrighty they thought it was funny because one of, one of the first classes that we actually I think it was the second one this the second class that we would hold then we talked about um, what what are what are they expecting of the class the course that they're taking and what are their expectations of it and what are our our expectations of it and did we have any fears or or worries about it and uh, they thought it was so funny that I I said honestly my biggest fear was getting lost on the way there <laughs> and they just it was so quiet when I said that. They all just shut right up and they were real quiet and they said, what, say that again? And I said, my biggest fear about coming here was getting lost because I hate getting lost and this is a new place for me to come. And uh, and I'm a very habit type person and so each year in between sessions, I would forget how to go there. <laughs> so I'd have to remember again. And so, but it was funny and they were like, that, that's what scared you? We're, we're in jail because we're convicts. We're, you know, we, we did stuff against the law. You weren't afraid of meeting us and being locked in a room with us? And I said, no, that never even occurred to me. So because they're just, they're women that got caught doing wrong things. I said, that's, that's honestly the only difference is you got caught. So everybody does bad things at one time or another, but they got caught and they got put in jail for it. So... But they just thought that was really interesting, that that was my biggest fear. They really thought that it would be being in there with them. But I totally enjoyed being in there. All right, I'm liking this, but it needs something else. I'm not sure quite what yet. Um, oh, that 
this. Nope. You know what? This. That would work. I could do some of those on there. All right, let's do that. I could do a row of one, two, three, four, five. If I did one whole row, that would look funny. But if I did a row of five, two, four, five. There. And it was funny because the very next week that I went to uh, to the jail, I got lost. <laughs> so I was late. And I said, see, I spoke the truth and then I ended up getting lost. <laughs> and they just thought that was so funny. All right, I like it better there. All righty, we're going to put it there. We had a really good team together. The other people that were with me and we took turns, we rotated through. So that way we could take a break every once in a while, but it was so fun. I really enjoyed that. Alrighty, let's see. I'm wondering if I wanna put one here, one on each one. Ooh, there, I'm kinda liking that. We're just gonna keep putting bling on and bling on until we get this done. All righty, there. Bling, bling, bling. Ta-da. All right, I'm gonna kill my hands if I do that. Let's do it this way so it'll be easier. Yep, a lot easier. I really lucked out. I was very blessed with all the jobs that I've ever had and all the things that I've ever volunteered for because I've, I've truly enjoyed everything I've ever done as far as working and teaching. It's been really fun. My very first job was a craft store over in Mystic Village. And, uh, and it was funny because the that's nice. The application, I went in and, and asked for an application and the, and the lady that owned it just said, here, she gave me a piece of lined paper and said, just walk around the store and everything that you know how to do, then make a list. And so I knew how to do everything except for one thing. Well, I, I had done everything except for one thing in the, in, that she had in the store, and uh, but I knew how to do it. And uh, and she said, okay, you're hired. So, and that and I immediately started teaching how to how to stencil. So that was a lot of fun. That was back in the days when we used to stencil everybody's houses and stuff. <laughs> I'm wondering if I should put one of these here or a bow there. Ooh, you know what? Let's do this. That'll work. Good idea. All right, I like that. I think I will call this done. And it all started with this scalloped ruler that I made. How cool is that? That's pretty nifty. I like it. Alrighty, so what do you think of that? There, let me pull it up closer so you can see. Isn't that neat? Alrighty, so I hope you like this idea. And if you made a scalloped ruler, I hope you pull it out and you, and you, you try using it. So it does make a really cute little border there. You can do a simple one or you can you can do a couple layers. You could do a couple different colors and stack them on top of each other. Kind of fan them out like cards. You know, when you're playing with a deck of cards, just move them over so you can see all the different colors. That would be really pretty. So there you go. That's for tonight's class. Um, I hope you enjoy this. And if you like it, please give me a thumbs up. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.